In this lesson, we're gonna, I'm going to give a brief overview on how to solve a system of equations by the elimination method. With the elimination method, you want to get rid of one of the variables by adding the two equations together. So if we were to take these two equations and make an old-fashioned addition problem. If I add 2x plus 4x, that's not going to get me 0x and eliminate. If I do 3 plus a negative 3, though, those y's are going to cancel, or what we call eliminate. So if I go 2x plus 4x, I get 6x. When I do 3 plus a negative 3y, it eliminates. It goes away. 34 plus a negative 4 would be 30. I got a simple equation here. I divide by 6, divide by 6, I get x equals 5. Now to find y, I just need to plug this x equals 5 back into one of the equations. You can choose the top one, you can choose the bottom one. I'm going to plug it into the top. So I'm going to do 2 times 5 plus 3y equals 34. So I get 10 plus 3y equals 34. Got to get rid of that 10, so I subtract 10 on both sides. I'm going to move my stuff over, so I've got 3y, so 10s go away, equals 34 minus 10 is 24. Divide by 3, and I get y equals Okay, so we add the two equations so that we get one of the variables to eliminate, solve for the variable that we can't eliminate, and then plug it back into one of the equations. I would like you to pause the video, have a sheet of scratch paper, try this one on your own to see how you can do. After you've paused, here we go. I'm going to show you. If we were to add the equations together, 6x plus a negative 6x, that means this time the x's eliminate. 12y plus a negative 6y, well, that's like 12 minus 6, so that's going to give me a positive 6y. Negative 30 plus negative 6, that's negative 36. I divide by 6, divide by 6, I get y equals negative 6. Now i got to find x. So system of equations mean I solve for y, and I need to get x. So I'm going to plug that y equals negative 6 into the top one. So I'm going to have 6x plus 12 times negative 6 equals negative 30. So I have 6x, 12 times negative 6 is a negative 72. And that equals negative 30. So I'm going to add 72 to both sides. Add 72, so I get 6x equals 42. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and we get x equals 7. So those are two rather easy examples. Here is a more challenging example when the equations just don't eliminate. So we set this up when we want to add it up. However, if I do 6 plus a negative 5x, those don't eliminate. If I do negative 3y plus positive 7y, those don't eliminate. So what we're going to do is choose which variable we want to eliminate. For instance, I'm gonna, I want to eliminate the y's. So if I want to eliminate the y's, I need them to multiply to become the same number. Well, if I multiply negative 3 times 7, I get negative 21. So 
Let's multiply the top equation. The top equation by 7. And if I multiply the bottom equation, if I multiply positive 7 by 3, I get positive 21. So I just need to multiply everything and to get my y's to line up. So I'm going to distribute the 7 to all three terms to where I'm going to get 42x. 7 times negative 3 is a negative 21y. 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. Now I'm going to multiply the bottom by 3. And I'm going to come up with my new equation below it. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15x. 3 times 7 is a positive 21y. 3 times 41 is 243. Oh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? 3 times 41 is 123. Apologies. Now you're probably thinking, where did you get the 7? Where did you get the 3? Well, the bottom equation gave me the idea for the 7. The top equation gave me the idea for the 3. So if I multiply opposite equations by the numbers opposite them, now I have a positive 21 and a negative 21, in which we are ready to eliminate the y's. I'm going to add these together. So we have 42x plus a negative 15x. That's going to leave me with 27x. The y's eliminate, which we want it to have happen. And we have negative 42 plus 123. And that is going to leave me with 81. So now we divide 81 divided by 27. And I get x equals 3. Now, I'm going to try to get some of this extra stuff out of, out of the way here. <clears throat> we need to plug back in this x equals 3. Now I can't do it to one of the equations here. I can't do it to the purple one or the red one. I need to take that x equals 3 and plug it back in to either the top one or the bottom one, one of the original ones. Let's plug it into the top. So I'm going to clear some space. And I'm going to plug in 6 times 3 minus 3y equals negative 6. So I plugged it into the top equation here. I plugged 3 in for x. So I get 18 minus 3y equals a negative 6. Just trying to clear a little space here. My next step is to subtract 18. Subtract 18 and we have negative 3y equals a negative 24. Divide by negative 3 and y equals 8. If you have questions let me know. I'll be able to help.